All right, so we're gonna be doing a perio pack for tooth number eight is our surgery site. So as far as placing the perio pack, we wanna go one tooth and a quarter of the tooth past the surgery site. Okay, so we're gonna do eight, seven, and a little bit of six, and then nine and a little bit of 10. Okay, so um, first we want to make sure we mix our perio pack. So I have the catalyst and the base, and we're gonna use a tongue blade to mix that. So we're just gonna swirl it around, keep it in a small area. Mix it around, and this stuff is really sticky. So you just wanna make sure that it's all mixed. It's all a homogenous mixture. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna scoop this up, and we're gonna place it in a cup of water. That's gonna help it become not so tacky and we'll be able to work with that. So while that's setting up in the water, I'm gonna come over here and get my patient ready. I'm gonna put a cotton roll up here for him so I can retract that lip. Dexter's got a cotton roll way up in there. All right, okay. And on your type of we're gonna put Vaseline. This would not be for a patient because the Vaseline would make it not stick, but for you to clean it up, we're gonna to need to put Vaseline. Put the Vaseline on there. Good. All right, and now we're gonna go back and check our material and see how it's doing. All right, let's see how it is. Oh yeah, it's getting hard in there, good. So see how it's nice and hard? Now we can work with this. Okay, so I'm gonna roll it out. I'm actually gonna get rid of this. We're gonna roll it out on here. Very, very sticky. It's kind of like silly putty now. So we're gonna roll it out. Into a little worm. And so since I have a small surgery site, I got quite a bit of material here. I don't quite need that much. Then I'm gonna cut me two little worms off of here. Good, okay. The first one I'm gonna take and I wanna go, remember this is our surgery site, so a tooth and a quarter. So I wanna be about right here, over to a tooth and a quarter right there. So I like to use my hands a lot just to kind of shape this down. Press that guy on there. And sometimes you use a little water so my hands don't stick. Good, so that's the facial. Now I'm gonna take my other little worm and I'm gonna put it on the lingual side. And we're gonna smash it. So indirect vision comes in handy here. Now, if you get too long, you can go back and cut it later, but you wanna just kind of get this on here and we can um, fix it in a little bit after we get it going. Now, the key to this is making sure that it's locked interproximal. So the lingual and the facial have to connect each other in between the interproximal spaces. So that's where the half Holland back comes in. You can kind of push it in between. And you don't want it way down on the tooth. You just want it barely just to cover the gingiva. So you see here, this is good. We don't want it way down on the tooth like this. So I'm gonna push that interproximal. This one interproximal. And since that's too much, I'm just gonna carve that off of there. Too much. And then we're gonna look at that lingual. All right, so it's really bulky on the lingual. We really wanna flatten that out. And then look, we're way up on the teeth. Can you see in there? We got a lot up on these teeth. And get rid of that. And 
and we're going to push that interproximal in there. And so you're going to keep doing this until you have it all pushed in the interproximal, you have it all flat, because think about the patient, they don't want to have this big bubble underneath their lip here, like they have a cotton roll in. And then we're also going to take it down so it's not so high up there. So you want to take a little bit of that material down. So you keep working with it. Your fingers work pretty well. You don't want to dig into it because then you make lines and everything in it. You want it to be nice and smooth. And it takes time to get this done. So you keep working and interlocking it. And we're gonna stop the video now and show you the final product.